In this short beginner's guide tutorial, I'm going to share with you how to use Microsoft Forms to collect better data and make better decisions for your business, for your ideas. So without taking much of our time, let's get started. So for today, you just have to go to theoffice.com and be sure to have an account. If you have an account already, you can just log in with your account and it will bring you to this platform. So there are two ways to get to Microsoft Forms. Microsoft Forms functions just like the Google Forms we have. We can create registration form for events. We can generate forms that we can send to our clients to fill up. For we, we're going to capture their details. We want to get the email addresses of participants. We want to use it as a means of getting the data of our participants for the event. And then we can reach out to them either to say thank you for applying either to send them important information about their particular event or they're about so it's a very very important form to create if you learn how to create it life becomes easy in terms of event management event uh, promotion and all that so to get to microsoft forms there are two ways first you can come to this app launcher you click on it and you can see a bunch of applications that you can use but the form is not here unfortunately so to see forms you have to come to all apps and then when you scroll down here you will see it forms over here so it's the first way to get to it the second way is to check by this this side icons you can see it at all apps also so once you click on all apps it's going to open all apps and you can see it uh, over here forms so whichever way you follow the most important thing is to click on the form okay so once you click on the form this is where you will be brought into a fresh page and to your left you can see new form you can create a new form and you can create a new quiz you can have a bunch of other templates that you have over here okay so there are a range of templates that you can look into if you want and you can click on more templates to see a bunch of them again okay so whichever whichever one you choose you can easily use for your content if you are inviting for an, a survey you can just click on this to see the formats to see the arrangement of their questions and then you can try to format your own also in this direction this is a nomination survey this is a holiday party invitation this is event registration let's try to click on one you just have an idea of how it looks so this is a sample registration form you can see the background well arranged you can see the title and the description and then you can see how the questions are arranged you have to give an answer you have to check boxes you have to say yes or no and all that so in this case you can edit these questions and use it for yourself once you click on the question you can edit it you can delete it you can uh, edit even the options you can delete you can put in and edit the question and then you can make it for yourself you can actually have it for yourself you can shift it to the top even or you can bring it down a little bit until you are satisfied you can make this a requirement that each person answering this form must fill up this before he goes to the next stage or before he submits this form okay you can put in multiple answers or they about whichever way you want it's easily editable and you can add new question from here what kind of question you want to add all you can do so but for now we want to start on a very very fresh page so i press the back button so we want to start on a new form so you click on new form and we want to follow up with something very simple so we can see that is this an untitled form so we can put in anything so let's put a title as for example UTP Toastmasters Club meeting so the next thing is you have to enter a description but for now if this is UTP Toastmasters Club meeting you can add in a picture if you want so for the title to be looking highly professional and fantastic you have to add up a picture you can put any picture of your liking so for example let's put some logo from uh, Toastmasters so once you come over here you're free to uh, search for your logo so let's try to put an image that can represent Toastmasters or thereabouts so we can just click on this and you can you're free to search on Bing or you can go to OneDrive if you have it saved and you can upload if you want also if you have it somewhere within your system or within your device so we can search on Bing 
maybe let's say Toastmasters. Okay, you can see it here, the first one. Let's say we are using this this logo, and then we add it to our form. So we can put in the description here. Okay, I tend to learn how to build confidence in speaking and learn about leadership. Okay, so the next uh, thing that we can do is to click out. We can always edit, we can always delete if you want. But then this is our title. Next is we can add another thing. Maybe we can add a choice question. We can click on this to add a choice question. And it's going to be, you can put any question. You can add more options if you have by just clicking on add options. And you can put in maybe another thing. And at the end, you can put in other options. So the person will put on his own what option that he he feels is the main reason why he is joining. So you can free you're free to copy this question to the next page. You're free to delete. You can bring it up or down, and you can make this a requirement. Put it in such a way that one can give multiple answer. And over there, here to these three dots, when you click on it, you have the option to shuffle the question to put it on any stage. Maybe first, second, third. You can shuffle it. You can do a drop down. You can bring it down. You can subtitle. Put in subtitle, and then you can add branching. Okay branching is maybe when someone is satisfied with the question based on his satisfaction when he clicks on this maybe he, you can you can easily go to another section of the form so this is the first question uh, which of these reasons motivates you to join our meeting you can add another question for example we can put in text tell us about your history in toastmasters uh, this is just a required you can make this a long answer because some people will like to talk about themselves and how they, they move from one stage to another. Okay, so let's say you make this a requirement and we can move to the next question. Uh, we can put in a rating question. So we can ask, so you can ask how was your experience uh, with our last meeting? We can give in a rating one to five. You can give more, one to, you can go as far as 10 and you can make it someone can just click to give us a rating what did he learn how did he pop how did we perform and what are the areas that we can improve we will ask him that question in the next so this star can be a number and it can be a star i think i prefer it to be a star you can put numbering if you want to score and then it's easy and you can put star as well so lastly we can try to put in a question again in addition to rating we can put in date uh, we can ask questions like when was the last time you attend our meeting you can just put in the date when you click on this drop down you can see a bunch of dates and you can use it to fill up the last experience you had with us so you can put in more and over this drop down you can see other things you can put in ranking you can put like that you can put net promoter score and you can put in a different section of also if you want you can click in this to have a different section once you click on this this is going to create a, a new section so you can add simple questions like uh, full name so you write your full name it's going to be a long answer or just a simple answer you can write about still on text maybe your email slash phone number so this is basically how to create a form on microsoft forms you can easily look at the form you can preview it to see how it's going to look by just coming over here to this i sign you click on preview and you can see how fantastic the form is looking okay in the preview section this is how it's going to look like on a computer and then if you want at this point you can go to the next section which talks about your personal details and you can put in your details and then on the phone this is how it's going to look like if you are using phone this is how fantastic it's going to look like you can see the, the arrangement and you can just click on this to go to the next as well so i think it looks kind of perfect and you can always come back to the main form and continue with your other things so up here Apart from the preview, you can go to the themes and when you click on it, there are a number of things you can change. For example, the looks on this, you can change it to something like this because we are talking about public speaking. You can bring in something like this and I think the, the, the theme kind of looks good. You can bring in something like this as well. This is a stage performance, maybe speech or something. You can bring in something like this and it's going to look quite good. And you have the option also down here to use, use a blocked uh, color you can just use anyone you know to just make it looks 
the way you uh, you, you want it or you can put in abstract and or be about but i think this one kind of looks cool and aligned with what we have at hand so we can take this and at, down here to the top right you can see the send button after you finish up filling all the forms details and all you are satisfied with the content you can always come over and copy this url and share with your people and you can shorten it to make it a bit better because as it is now it's quite long you can shorten the url to make it shorter and you can share this on facebook or on twitter and you can uh, copy free to copy the link directly like this or copy the link by clicking on this or you can get a qr code generated directly for you for this particular event okay so no need to go to any website to generate a very a qr code for your event you can easily get it from here and you can download and attach it to your poster and use it directly next oh, to the uh, to this you have the embedded option you can copy this directly you can just copy this code and put it on your website and you can easily uh, view it or by clicking on it you can get to this particular form and lastly you can email this to to someone that you you know can can get this link and make use of it as a registrant or as a participant whichever way you are free to share with share this directly with your friends and you can get a link to duplicate you can duplicate this and start up another form or they about so once you submit this form to the people once you copy the link and share with people when they respond this is where you see the, the response okay you click on this and you will be able to see the responses from the people how many responses have you gotten average time the people spent to actually fill up the response and are they active what's the status at the moment you can see it and the most important part is you can open this in excel okay you when you have responses you can open in excel you, uh, you can see the distribution of the answers how they are distributed based on participant based on applicants and based on the answers they give okay over to these three dots you have the option to delete all responses to print primary to print the summary of all the respondents and then to create a summary link that you can share with people as well so this is how to really prepare the form and then the last thing you need to know is about these three dots you come over to this three dot and you can come to settings you have the option to accept responses and once you click on this it's going to stop accepting responses and you can put in any message to the rest uh, to the applicant that the form is no longer accepting responses or this due to this reason we have stopped accepting responses okay but you can see we can still accept so you can put a start and end date for this campaign you can shuffle the question you can do email notification of each response if you get any response they can notify you on the email once you check this box it's going to notify you each response from this okay you can show the progress to you you can customize the thank you message and put in uh, right now it's you your response was submitted you can put in thank you for submitting your response and we will get back to you shortly or so, something like that so this is basically how to use the microsoft forms and to generate to create form for the event and to share with your friends and have a successful event so ladies and gentlemen if you enjoy this video kindly remember to give it a thumbs up you can comment on anything you can like and you can share with your friends be sure to hit the like and subscribe button to keep enjoying videos like this from this website so i will see you in my next video bye it's